हेलो फ्रेंड वेलकम यू ऑल टू माय चैनल लर्न इनोवेटिवली विद मी माय नेम इज शशि भूषण चौहान एंड टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू दैट हाउ यू कैन ड्रा डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ द सेल स्ट्रक्चर इन माइक्रोसॉफ्ट पावर पॉइंट वेरी इजीली इन द वेक्टर फॉर्मेट जस्ट लाइक एडोब इलेस्ट्रेटर इंक स्पेस और बायोडर सो यू कैन सी ऑन माई लैपटॉप स्क्रीन आई हैव ऑलरेडी टेकन अ पिक्चर फ्रॉम एन इमोलॉजी बुक हैविंग डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ द सेल स्ट्रक्चर हियर in the home tab you can see the shape and icon but in your case if you are not able to see just right click at the ribbon area and click on the customize the ribbon and at the lower side customization click here on the reset and reset all customization if you have any customization before this will be reset to default and you can see the this shape and icon option in the drawing section of the home tab but After that, if you are not able to see, you can customize your ribbon. But I am not going to show you today how we can customize the ribbon in PowerPoint. But if you want to know, you can comment in the comment section. I will show you how we can customize the ribbon in Microsoft PowerPoint. First of all, I am going to show you how we can draw dendritic cell in PowerPoint. For this, in the Home tab, select the curve option here. You can see the plus sign is showing at the mouse pointer. If you click. you can see a line is showing and you can just click again and make your cell structure by just click and remove the mouse button you can see a rough structure is formed in powerpoint but we can modify the shape any time so first of all i suggest you just right click on the shape and click on the format shape you can see at the right side format shape option in this fill and line effect and size property is showing but maybe in the in your powerpoint you are not able to see the option you just click here at the point and you can see the option and you can see the same option here shape and format tab also so first of all i am going to remove the fill you can remove the fill by select the shape and click here in the shape format and you can remove the fill from here but you can also remove the fill from this format and shape option here in the fill select no fill you can see this shape has no fill and now i am going to modify the shape of the cell for this just select the shape and select here the shape format tab in this tab here edit shape if you click here you can see the edit point option just select this and now you can see where you have the click to make the cell structure it added a point and now we can modify this point and uh, you can select and modify each and every point so i'm just modifying the point and each point have the two handle just like illustrator and ink space you can modify the shape using this handle also and if you want to add the more point in this shape you can also add you have to keep the cursor here and right click you can see a point is added and now you can select the shape by this point also so you have freedom to modify your structure any time after completing the shape so now i am going to fill the color 
so you can fill the color by just select the shape from here and you can also make the gradient from here but i suggest you use this shape format shape option so select the shape and i'm going to fill the gradient in this shape and here is the option for the gradient here is the preset you can select the preset and the type radial or rectangular path or linear for the oval and round shape cell structure i suggest you use radial gradient and here is the direction i am selecting this one and gradient stop you can see here and you can adjust this gradient color from here if you click here i want to remove this just select and click here on the remove and you can adjust the gradient by this handle and and if you want to change the color in the gradient you can just click here and you can select any color from here you can see the gradient color is change i suggest you just click here and here you can select the more color it will op open a window of colors with the slider and you can select the color very easily from here now i am going to make the nucleus for this cell for this i am selecting the oval shape and drawing it here for the nucleus i am also going to add the gradient click here the select the nucleus and click here on the gradient field and i am going to make the more darker the nucleus gradient so for this just select the this is stop and left stop is showing the center and the right stop of the gradient is showing the color for the periphery you can play all these option in your powerpoint so just i am selecting this and click here click on the more color i am just going to darken the color and i am also going to reducing the radius of the gradient and i am also going to remove the outline from the nucleus so selecting this nucleus and in the line i am just going to click on here the no line you can also do this from here in the shape format tab these all option are also are also here you can and the outline color for the cell i am going to just reduce so in the line section it is one point width i am going to reduce 0.5 so just select both nucleus and cytoplasm and click here on the group you can also do with the con shortcut control g and also i'm going to re reduce the size of the cell so you can see in this way we can draw the dendritic cell in powerpoint like this for the monocyte again select the curve tool and draw the cell and remove the fill from here 
no fill you can also use this format and shape option and if you want to change the shape you can just select the shape and shape format edit edit point you can also edit the point but there is no need i think to change the shape for this cell so i'm just selecting this cell i'm going to fill the gradient click here on the gradient you can also click here on the gradient and but in the shape and option it gives the more option select the gradient preset if you want to select preset direction select here and gradient is stop just if you want to remove this remove this one and if you want to change the color select the stop and change the color click here on the ok now for the nucleus of the mono side you can use any shape if you just click here in the shape format you can just click on this arrow button you can see there are lots of shape and we can use this partial circle so you can see here i'm going to just rotate this one and select this shape click edit point now you can adjust the shape and here now you can see we have changed the shape of this icon using the edit point option and now i am going to add the gradient also and i am going to, to use more darker color so i am selecting this stop click here more color and I'm also going to remove the outline. So there is, there is more lighter color. So I'm just selecting this again and gradient field and I'm just sliding the stop point of the gradient. And if this is more white, you can select this stop and you can use this color. This is more realistic now. And for the other cell structure, you can use this oval shape. the solid field we can use white color I'm going to just increase the PowerPoint size and we can copy by just clicking control and drag the point now i'm going to group the cell you can use the control g option also and resize the cell and keep here 
सो आवर टू सेल इज रेडी यूजिंग पावर पॉइंट नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू हाउ वी कैन ड्रा द माइक्रोफेज फॉर दिस आई एम जस्ट गोइंग टू जूम द पावर पॉइंट जस्ट कंट्रोल एंड माउस फील again i'm taking the curve tool and drawing the cell now you can see a rough shape is formed and we can remove the fill and edit the point again from the edit point option like this again i am going to fill the gradient in this cell i'm just going to change the color of the gradient we can also draw the nucleus being saved from the curve tool for this you can see here and again okay, can we can edit the po edit point we can adjust width of the outline and for the mitochondria we can again we are using the oval tool we can make outside of the cell select the oval and the fill option no fill and use the curve tool just to make the select both and group them reduce the size and keep inside the cell and copy by control c and paste it by control v and select all the cell structure control g to group them and
reduce the size and keep here so you can see the one thing i forget to change the color of the nucleus select this nucleus shape gradient it already taken the previous gradient but we can change the more darker color for this cell select this one click here more color option in the custom option click here more darker color and if you want to change the radius you can change from here and the center color if you want to change just click and change from here Yeah. and also the we have to remove the outline for the nucleus so click the nucleus and click here and then no but you can see the nucleus and the cytoplasm are mixed together but we have to increase the color of the gradient click here more color and now now you can see the macrophage also ready in the powerpoint and the next cell you can see here the antigen presenting cell for this cell we can also use the curve tool now click here no fill on the edit point and again we can edit the shape of cell using point and with the two handle again fill the gradient I'm selecting the yellow color not for the nucleus we have to select the nucleus the white color and for the periphery select this stop and click here more color and the custom option we have to select some lighter color for this and again the nucleus is oval shaped so we have to select the nucleus click here we can rotate it and fill the gradient more darker color so use custom and I select this yellow color and use custom here and the dark darker color click ok and here the, the, cent, the central color is also yellow so I am just going to change the color to white and also remove the line now The cytoplasm is more darker. So I'm going to just lighten the color of the cytoplasm for this. Let this stop and more color option. I'm going to select the lighter color so that we can easily identify the color. And again, 
for the mitochondria oval shape no fill use the curve tool so keep the shape just look like mitochondria and select all this and group them reduce the size and keep inside the cell and copy Control C, Control V. Okay, move this mitochondria in this way. Select all the cells, Control G to group them, and by pressing the shift, you can resize, it will not affect the ratio. So, in this way, we can also make the antigen presenting cell you can see we can easily make all these four cells but the video is very long so i will show you how you can form other cell in my next tutorial thank you for watching my video if you like the video please subscribe my channel thank you